we're already at a, over a, a hundred, we're at 101 degrees and it's still climbing on the air temperature. And this is set at uh, 140 and what's our current rating on that water temperature going in? Uh, just a shy of 136, so, so about four degrees off, but there is going to be a little loss to the pipe now. Yeah, if you let this run for a little bit, it might creep up, but uh, you guys don't need to stare at this for 20 minutes. It gives you a minute deal. So let's let's take a measurement of the return. Here's the return line here. So. You see, you know, it's dropping. It's down about. It's already down to 112. It's still going down. In the meantime, our 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 temperature is still. It's up to close to 102 degrees. So. 102 degree air is pretty warm there. Keep in mind that we're doing this on a 50 degree sunny day at noon or the heat loads, the, or the sun's, you know, it, it's, it's adding the most BTUs of the house as possible. So on a normal day, even set as high as 140, which again, I ran at 125, even set as high as 140, we're within a degree of that magic 107. I guarantee you, if, if I turn that up to 140 on a 10 degree day, that return temperature would bleed off a few more degrees because because the re, the return air coming through would be a lot colder, which is going to make the return water going through um, drop a few degrees. So even at 140, I'm right on the bubble. And really, 125, 120 would do it 99 days out, out of the 99 percent of the year. But 125, based on all our calculations we did, I properly sized it has worked perfectly. So if you want to take uh, one more temperature of, uh, if you want, you want to take the return okay. air, see what it's coming in at. And, uh, right now it's at 102 going out, and Billy can show you the return air. I just give you a little idea of, uh, you know, how much heat gain we're getting off of that water coil. About 77, 78 degrees. Um, and now we had a 102 supply. So we have a little bit greater temp rise now. And it's dropping down to like 2 yeah. You got to remember, this is taking the hot air rises, cold air drops. So this is, we, again, we, we redid all the duct work in this house, benefit of owning a heat and air company. So we added returns upstairs to make sure we balanced the house out. So hot air rises, cold air drops. It's obviously hotter on the third level than it is down in the basement, so it's pulling all that heated air through, averaging it out, and going through. And in a matter of five to ten minutes, we would go from 67 to 71, no problem, this would shut off. So, um, pretty cool technology. If you're interested in it, if you want some discounts and coupons, you can go to polarheatingandair.com, look through it, check out the other web videos we have. Uh, give us a call. We'd be more than happy to answer any other any questions you might have, uh, curiosity. Um, and uh, at some point on the we at the website, we'll update the uh, report for a year's worth of use. I'm going to be getting the data from uh, GTI from NICOR, and I will uh, I'll actually post on our website the real life data of how it actually performs. So uh, we have no dog in this fight. We'd love to install any system that you would like in your home. If you're interested in this, though. Check out the video, check out our website, and then check out the data once we post it to our to our website. Thanks.